But as we say, there is life everlasting for the saints and those who are faithful. We also need to remind liars that there is eternal death for liars. For liars who refuse to change. For liars who earn a living by lying. For liars who gain their livelihood by destroying reputations. There is everlasting life for those who are faithful. But there is everlasting hell for those who live in lies. We welcome with open arms and open hearts the relic of St. Titus Plasma visiting the Archdiocese of Lingay and Dagupan. The Lord sends saints to the church according to the needs of the church. When the church was in need of renewal because of too much materialism, the Lord sent St. Vincent de Paul and later on St. Teresa of Calcutta. When the church was in need of saints in order to bring about renewal, He sent us San Carlos Borromeo, Santa Teresa de Jesus. When the church was in need of martyrs, the church also gave us martyrs. The Lord also gave us martyrs. In this time and this age, when there is so much disinformation and uh, falsity and truth become interchangeable, the church gives the world St. Titus Bradsma who in our heart of hearts we call martyr for the truth. He spoke the truth that there is God. He spoke the truth that there is our immortal soul. He spoke the truth about life everlasting and in standing up for the truth Titus, Titus Bradsma received the crown of martyrdom. So, what are the truths that need to be renewed, that, need, that we need to be reminded about, especially in the presence of the relics of St. Titus? The first truth that we must remember is the truth that there is God. There is God. And as we say there is God, let us also say there is only one God. And I am not God. That God in His love gave us Ten Commandments. The truth is that the Ten Commandments are gifts of God to us. The Ten Commandments are not inventions of men. And therefore the Ten Commandments are not for us to subtract or to add or to multiply or divide. Because the Ten Commandments come from an absolute God. And therefore there is no excuse all of us, if we want to be men and women with dignity, all of us, if we want to be called children of God, need to recognize that there is God and God has given us the commandments and those commandments are for our good and those who disregard those commandments suffer the loss of their souls. St. Titus teaches us the second important truth that some of us might have forgotten. I am a soul. They can burn my body. They can kill my body. But I am my soul. And I am created in the likeness of God. In a world where there is so much concern for money, where there is so much vanity for beauty, in a world where there is so much concern for what the eyes can see, what the ears can hear, what the tongue can taste, and what the skin can feel. We are told that the most important things are invisible to the eye. I am a soul. I am not my body. My body is an add-on. And someday, my body will die. But my soul, my soul is immortal. There is God. I am a soul. This is a truth 
that he lived for. This is a truth that he died for. And as he died for the truth, what does St. Titus remind us of the promise of God? The third truth that we must never forget. There is life everlasting. But as we say there is life everlasting for the saints and those who are faithful, we also need to remind liars that there is eternal death for liars. For liars who refuse to change. For liars who earn a living by lying. For liars who gain their livelihood by destroying reputations. There is everlasting life for those who are faithful. But there is everlasting hell for those who live in lies. Brothers and sisters, he died for the truth. Not just the truth that we find in the books, but the truth with a capital T. And the truth is Jesus Christ. In dying for the truth, he died for the Lord. And in dying for the Lord, he lives forever. St. Titus Bradsma visits us in the church of Linge and Dagupan. And as I incense the relics at the start of our Mass, I begged him to make us courageous prophets of truth. I begged him that at we, as we stand up for the truth, may we never be lacking in love. I begged him for the grace that the courage, the conviction, the fidelity that he showed to the point of martyrdom may be ours if the same opportunity should be given to us. To die for the Lord is a gift for some. To live for the truth, to live for the Lord is the duty of all.